feel like it's like how is it <laughs> the first cities that we play I think that that'll be something they expect because it's it is a rock and roll show <laughs> <laughs> if we just came out rapping every day <laughs> how we doing out there uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. get him down here should I yes you should you're asking me this Did you get me a sandwich? No, did you ask for a sandwich? No, but you should have known. It's all yours. It's to you. All right, take your positions. I have two hours, and then I have to go to work. It's Recycling Tuesdays. We have the warm-up show downtown tonight. What I'm gonna do is teach you guys the progressions, and I just wanna run through them because I gotta hash out some of the lyrics, work on some of the melodies. I did call earlier, it's the Living Daylights. On the 18th of August, the 13th, we could do the 13th. Great, okay, bye. Dudes, I think I have us booked for all of month three on tour. Look out, world, here come the Living Daylights. <laughs> Shower. T minus one month till you quit that job. Alex, um, forgot to tell you, the realtor called the house phone this morning, left a message. Oh, that's okay. I can't believe we're actually selling the house. You having second thoughts? Mm, no, that's what mom would have wanted. Thanks. 
Oh, uh, Wyatt needs to stay at our house again tonight. My mom officially kicked me out, so... Dude, I mean, you can stay here, but it's on the couch. Yeah, I love your guys' couch. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Babe, add Kentucky to the list. Catfish in Kentucky <laughs> is something we must experience. You have catfish on the brain. Catfish in the morning. Catfish in the night. Something about catfish feels so right. Catfish. Catfish. Hello. Yeah, this is Alex. Oh. Hi. I mean, I, I can stop by next week. What? Keep going. It's fine. I'll be right back. Just tell me what's going on. All right. Okay. I'll um. I'm. I'm leaving now. Catfish. <laughs> you know what? Keep it going. I'll be right back. Keep playing. Hey, you just rushed out. I hope everything's okay. Give me a call. Hey, it's me. I I haven't heard from you. This is crazy. Just give me a call. There you are. Hey. What's going on? Um, I'm in New York. Yeah, I heard. What's going on? There's a seminar that, I, uh, that I'm attending this week on music management. I'm gonna take a few classes. Classes? You, you never mentioned anything before about classes. I know. I. I think I'm going to stay up here for a while. Whoa, what? what? Look, if I don't come home, I want you to take over the tour. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. The tour? Wait, where are you right now? Uh, just just tell me where you are. I'm going to come. I'm going to come come up there. So I, I need to be alone right now. Sorry. Alex. I'm counting on you, Sue. I mean it. <laughs>
Jesus. Morning, sunshine. <laughs> Stop. I knew you wouldn't go. Stop. How could you leave all this behind? I told you I wasn't going. Seriously, Sue. Yeah. I'm glad you stayed. Vic, let's go. You going all right? Nah, I got shit to do. You didn't go, big deal. I mean, maybe you just need a break, you know? Chillax, reap the benefits of your hard work. I really don't want your advice. Hi, guys! You look lovely this morning. <laughs> Thank you. Nice robe. Hi, Sue. I heard you're leaving, you're going on tour. I wanted to give you a little something for luck. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, plans actually changed. I'm gonna stick around. Oh, wow. You won't hear me complaining. <laughs> See you later, hot stuff. I'm so glad you're staying, yo. He's had problems in the family, but you know, he's a really good real estate agent. As you can see. That doesn't smell like blueberry pancakes. It smells like we have a fireplace. Hi, George. Hi, Randy. This is Mr. and Mrs. Kusky. They're here to see the house. sturdy frame and the craftsmanship were done by monks in the late 1800s. I mean, it's wonderful, amazing, rustic. Look at this kitchen. Can you imagine yourself having breakfast? Oh my God, fire! Save the back! Put it out! With the fire extinguisher! Oh. No. Here. Um, Mr. Yes! Mr. and Mrs. Kosky, would you meet me outside? This is the worst. Thank you. Hey, fucktards! I've been trying to sell this dump for four weeks. I thought you two were supposed to be out of my hair today. Well, we were, but... I'm gonna call your sister. Good luck. That was way too close. Yeah. Where's Wyatt? Let's get him. Hey! Oh, shit, guys. Oh, God, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. One simple request, have breakfast ready by 10. How hard is that? Not hard at all, Randy. No, it's not, I'm, I'm making breakfast for you guys. You burned up our kitchen, dude. Where do you think the smoke came from? Mm, I thought you guys were burning incense or something, I don't know. We have a year of work on that kitchen wall and you could have destroyed it. You know, guys, it would be nice, it would be nice to just get a little bit of appreciation for my effort. Can you just uh, give us a, a couple of minutes to get presentable? I mean, he was trying to do a really nice thing, and I don't have any clothes on. Well, he failed miserably. And you should have clothes on. Hey, I finished packing up the car. Oh, today's a big day, huh? Uh, we're delayed. Sue called off the tour last night. <sighs> She's not coming back. <laughs> there you go. Look, man, we miss her too. But, and she's right, we technically don't need her. Why is everybody acting so normal? I'm not leaving without her. But we need to leave in the morning if we're gonna make our first show, Sue. You know how she is. She sets her mind to do something and then she just does it. She's hiding something. Okay, well, we'll leave you to your shooting. Yeah, shoot it out. Well, you could tell the uh, losers from Good's Disposal are here. I haven't seen Alex in a while. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Those groupy bitches, you know? Just, just big man with a gun. Okay. Come on. We'll see you around, friends. Dude, you gotta chill out. 
Come on, man, those guys are assholes. They've always been assholes. You gotta ignore it. So you're not going? No, we're going. We just need to convince Sue. You'll have to unpack the car, Wyatt. Georgie, you're up. Quiet! Not sure me. good time right now? I don't think there's gonna be a good time, so we just gotta do it. All right, Oscar, it's your turn. <sighs> hey, buddy. You wanna talk? Okay. So we missed our first gig. We're still gonna make the Philly gig tomorrow night. The first gig usually sucks on a tour anyway, so we're good, actually. It's perfect. You know, we're, just, we're gonna make it, skip it right to gig two. Guys, I'm not going anywhere. No more tour. Give it up, you two. Sue's not going anywhere. Hey, uh, you guys are uh, living daylight, right? Yeah, the living daylights. You guys want our autographs? No. You see, we bought tickets for your show tonight. Then we got an email saying it was canceled. You guys are here. Yeah, man. What the F? Tour's canceled. Right. You guys suck dick. We're making enemies, Sue. Enemies, right there. Our popularity is plummeting. It's like a, like a scout for, for discovering where we want to end up and supposed to coming home. Somewhere near the ocean. All right? Please? Yeah. I think we're going to love Captain. Yeah. Although Nashville could be really cool, too. We'll see. OK. You're the boss. I am the boss. Don't ever forget it. On God. Beth didn't put out her cans again. It's your turn. Hey, what 
are you doing, trash man? I got marks all over my body. I didn't get hit once. Hey, Pop, who do we talk to about getting assaulted on the job? Assaulted? We dropped it, OK? You know what, talk to the clerk. She can file a report. A lot of good that's going to do. And you, too, you're going to have to talk to Beth and hope that she rehires your sorry ass. Right. How'd you manage to screw this up, dipshit? Well, I guess you finally realized, too, you're nothing around here without those local teeny boppers kissing your ass. Come on, Dad, give him a break. Hey. Don't be an idiot. Get your shit together. OK, we are now missing day two of the tour. If we leave tomorrow morning, we can make it to Kalamazoo by Friday. And we sure as hell better make it to Idaho for the music festival. Great, OK. I get it? Idaho? Idaho? I can hear you. Your beard is tickling me. Did you feel me tickling your leg? Yeah. <laughs> That's my ball sack. That's <laughs> so nasty. Oh, here, let me get it. Hello? Alex? Alex, is that you? Okay. Yeah, we'll come pick you up. Okay, bye. She's on a six o'clock train into Lancaster, and man, she's not happy we're still here. Well, neither are we. This could be perfect. Now maybe she wants to go on the tour, and maybe Sue will too. One, two, three, four. We need some corn. Oh, wait, we got enough corn. We really need our sister Alex at the train station. Ah, oh, let's get her, her right away. school chums. Well, this isn't goodbye. No, no, I need you. Everyone knows, right? Yeah, yeah. This is not good. Hey! Yeah, how's school? It's fine. I'm uh, learning a lot. Cool. We thought maybe you had uh, changed your mind about coming with us. Why don't you want to go on tour? You're like the fourth wheel. Yeah, or like the fourth corner, like a complete square. You know what? I mean, if you're seeing somebody else, like that guy or something, that's between you and Sue. She's not, George. I mean, you're not going out with anybody like the guy back at the station, guys, are guys, you? Guys, I just wanted to come home, get a few things, and and then I'm heading back. I, I just have these tests coming tests. up. Tests? 
That's never gotten me anywhere. Did you guys pack up your rooms and stuff? No. Mm -hmm. Nah. Not? Guys, what if the house sold while you were on tour? I mean, the realtor called me and told me what happened. Oh, you talked to the realtor woman, huh? Yeah. Won't return your own brother's phone calls, but you'll talk to the realtor woman. Why didn't you leave yesterday? Well, Sue didn't want to go on the tour. Because of me? It just doesn't make sense, because before you left all, you were concerned about traveling. And now you're some kind of bookworm? It doesn't make sense. So what are you studying anyways? I mean, it's got to be pretty exciting if you're blowing your whole summer on it. I don't know, biology. You're lying. What's going on? I mean, this whole disappearing act really screwed things up, you know? I mean, Mom just died. All right, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, uh, that'd be great. You're back. Yeah, just for a week. Then you gonna go back to school? Yeah. Liars. You're fucking liars. Can we talk in private? What's there to talk about? You haven't been around. Please just stay out of it. Where have you been? I've been at school, and I just came home for a week, and this is what I'm coming home to? You guys still fucking here, playing at a goddamn bowling alley? Don't switch. What are you... Fuck you, okay? Hey, man. Shut up! Can we just all calm down? You have anything to say to me? No. Okay. Are you sure you don't have anything to say to him? No. I would just like to say that I'm really happy that we're all together again, huh? Here you go, Dad. And this book's for you, Mom. I don't think you've read this one yet. You should have told Sue. Somehow we can look at him. You should tell him right away. I know. I will. I don't know how long I can keep a secret like this. But I want to tell him myself, okay? When the time is right.
I did not sleep at all last night. Me neither. Everything's changed. There's no way we can leave town. Yeah. We're probably gonna have to get jobs. Uh, Mrs. Fielder down the road, she offered to hire me to teach her son drums. Hey, Billy? Yeah. The kid's an asshole. <laughs> He's seven years old. He's still an asshole. You know, I think they're hiring a hot dog on a stick in town. I, I walked by and saw it in the window. Hot dog on a stick? Seriously? Yeah. That's awesome. I can totally see myself a hot dog on a stick. Me too. Sure, I didn't know we had a coffee maker. <laughs> we do. I bought it for the house. It is totally my contribution for sleeping here all the time. <laughs> so you guys are sleeping on the couch? Got a lot of history on that couch. <laughs> Wyatt lost his job, and we just kind of started staying yeah. here. Yeah. Then the twins gave us all kinds of chores and stuff to do, so it's sort of like rent. <laughs> what kind of chores are you guys doing? Because the house looks like it's falling apart. Like, we make breakfast and dinner and stuff sometimes. Yeah, I'm still working on my chef skills, but They're it's looking better. better. <laughs> I actually think the house could be like really super beautiful, but just a little bit of TLC. Uh, Alex, um, George and Randy told us never to go in there. Under penalty of death. Well, I'm pulling rank, going in. All right, here's the deal. If you guys help me pack up this whole room and move everything into the barn, I'm gonna let you move in here until the house sells. Is this a trick? I will pack up this entire room today. Whoa, guys, your, your brothers said never to come in this room. They were very serious about that. God, I know, it looks like they haven't touched a thing. Well, uh, please, Wyatt. We can make this really beautiful. And we can have more private time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about George and Randy. Just enjoy the room.
I wanted to do something like where it's uh, the lyrics are gonna be like about a guy who um, who's chasing this girl. She they can't. About a guy nice. chasing a girl. Yeah, who knows? And she's like, what's this girl like? She's she, she wouldn't be like our sister. To, honestly, like not every song I, I write no, just nine out of ten about, songs. About, we love her too, but not in the way that you do. <laughs> That's the shut up chord. All right, right. not like. <laughs> What is that? Do the shut up chord again. So no, 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 play that again. Play that again. With that, that. Shut up and yeah. rock. I like that. Go inside. Are you sure? I'm fine. Can... I'm fine. All right. See you in here. Have a good show. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry about last night. Me too. I'm really sorry about a lot of things. You gonna come in? Yeah, I'm gonna come in. Check out their new tattoos. <laughs> oh, yeah, check out my new Terminator tattoo. Isn't that Robocop? No way, look, he's saying I'll be back. Did you mean anything you said to me that day? Sue, you're all dead. Sue, you're gonna be okay. Okay, you're gonna be all right. Woo. The bar turned from cheers to roadhouse out of nowhere. What happened? Clyde and Howard ruined our show. That's what happened. Put on your seatbelts. Watch your head. I'm good. It's not as bad as it looks. I could really use a drink. Actually, I've got something better. Ooh. What? No way. Yeah, I've been saving them up. Let's do this. Let's do it. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so gross. Can't believe you guys are still drinking Tussin. <laughs> The more you have it, you're gonna hate the taste. But milk helps to keep it down some. Oh. You're disgusting. Uh, I just saw two shooting stars. Does that mean we get two wishes? Man, I mean, your showers are so nice. After a supernova explodes, the remnants form a crab nebula. That's where stars are born. Have you ever seen crabs in your pubes? I have. 
What about my two wishes? I wish that I didn't see Oscar's dad having sex with Beth. You asshole, what are you doing? That is so gross. Isn't Beth Kingsley like our age? Shouldn't she be trying to like date you, Oscar? Instead of your old raggedy ass dad? You guys have to get out of this town. It's going nowhere. You cold? I was... <clears throat> it's a temperature drop. That's it. I should ask out Beth. <laughs> Blames, Gene. Wear a condom, dude. Wear two. On that note, I'm gonna go. What? Yep. <sighs> I'm gonna leave my car here. <laughs> Do you want some company? Cheers. Cheers. This is really great. George and Randy have it hanging up over the map in the kitchen. It's awesome. Right? I, you know what? I know of a trick. If you don't have money for postage, Dinner, it's this little thing called reverse mail. There's no way that works. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. It does make a lot of sense. Watch, it, I gotta you show can't you. have free mail. I think they figured this out. They haven't. You ready to learn something? All right, so first I need your address. Seven, seven, nine, nine, Mount Joy, PA. And then my address goes here. The mailman's going to get this letter, and he's going to see that some asshole forgot the postage. And he's going to proceed to return it to the sender, which is you, and voila, free mail. That's like an old hippie trick. No, it's not. I've done it before. OK. I'm going to prove this to you, and I'm going to mail you this letter with this flyer, with no stamp. I will look forward to receiving that, <laughs> that, that letter with no stamp. You writing anything else? No. Well. <laughs> Liar. I'm working on one song. It's, I haven't sung it out loud yet. Well, I might hear it. It's not finished. Come on. Since when do you hide things from me? This is not. Since you started hiding from me like two months ago, that's one. Well, then I'm gonna sing you a song. With this here guitar. I've learned how to play, you know. Is that right? I'm not as bad as the last time I did this. My name is Sue. Horrible. I practiced it and, for a uh, long time. <laughs> you need a lot more practice. Give me. <sighs> ashes to ashes, and dust is a must, and we're coming, and we're going, and it all seems too much. Sometimes, I don't mind knowing what I see overflowing in the world today. It breaks me up, it breaks me. Down on 
Can you give me like two minutes? Let's go, you're in deep shit. One minute. Like your phone was ringing. It was Randy, I gotta go. Really, that was Randy? Alex, what's going on? Last night was just a big mistake, all right? Sorry. D don't say that to me, okay? I gotta go back to the house. I just have a lot of stuff to do. What stuff? We can't see each other anymore, okay? Look, at least let me give you a ride home. It's a long walk. Sue. Who's Bob? What? I can't believe you're checking my phone. I can't believe you're seeing somebody else. It's none of your fucking business. It's none of my business. It's none of my business? Don't you think you owe me some sort of explanation, maybe? No. No? You just leave? You don't say anything no, to no, me? No, now I'm walking. Put it back exactly where you found it. Take this one, too. You have broken sacred trust. Exit. March. Lift with your legs. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's go. Put it back. Let's go. Come on. Guys, what's going on? This is mom and dad's stuff. Yeah, I know. It's exactly the reason it doesn't belong in the house anymore. Look, you should have asked us about this. I mean, we could at least look through it first. Not everything is in the boxes, okay? I saved some of the stuff. What's the harm in one little room dedicated to the best parents ever? I agree with Randy. No. I don't know. You guys gonna turn my room into a museum too? There is no guarantee that you will love me tomorrow. There is no guarantee that we could ever forget the flowers on trees as they come when the summertime sets. There is no guarantee that we could ever remember the simple lines of poetry we spoke when we met words are reminders of everything i'll never get back like memories of summertime they die in the winter Leaves in the spring when they're green and they get down on my mind because I love you, but I don't know yet. There is no guarantee that we could ever remember the simple lines of poetry we spoke when we met. Words are reminders of everything I'll never get back. Like memories of summertime they die in the winter. Leaves in the spring when they're green and they get down on my mind because I love you. But I don't know yet. Down on my mind, cause 
I can't believe you guys came. Why wouldn't we come? I know what's going on. You do? Yeah, I do. She's seeing somebody else. And I want to know his name. I don't know. Bob, why are you saying that? I don't know. You guys lying to me? My own bandmates, really? He was at the station when we picked her up. Go easy, man. Who are you? How do you know Alex? Who are you? How do you know her? You're Sue, right? She told you about me? What, do you go to college with her or something? We're, uh, hey, we're in group together. What the fuck is group? So, uh, cancer support group. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't lie to me. She has what her mom had. What? She was supposed to tell you. I didn't, uh, she... she doesn't have a lot of time. I wanted to tell you. I just didn't know how. Alex. Just, I go for a walk, I just feel. I'm gonna go with you. Alex, Alex, wait up, wait up, wait, 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 wait. You gotta, you gotta tell me, like, what did the doctor say? No, did you get a second opinion? I got a million opinions. A million. Is that where you were this whole time? Is that... You're alone? 
Yeah, there's this, uh, there's this facility up in New York, and I was there, and I joined the support group, and that's where I met that guy, Bob. And I wanted to give you guys a chance to leave, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, come on, come on. Please, are you still talking about the tour? I just feel like fucking killing somebody. I feel so crazy and out of control. What's the move now? I mean, where do we go, where do we go where do we go from here? It's not good. Listen to me, okay? I'm right here with you, right? You're not gonna go through this alone, and I'll go. To the, let's go to the doctors. I mean, can we go together? Can I talk to them? Uh, what are you gonna say to the doctors, Sue? I mean, honestly, what are you gonna do? How are you feeling right now? I mean, is, are you in pain right now? Is there like... This is why I didn't tell you. Because of how you're treating me right now. How, how am I treating you? <laughs> like I'm sick. What do you want me to do? Swimming, <laughs> I guess. Let's go swimming. <sighs> oh, it's cold. I know. Come on. You've lost weight. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? You're just too head over heels for me. I couldn't bear to tell you. You say that like it's a bad thing. It's gonna get to where I can't breathe anymore. And it's not just about me. It's you and it's, it's George and Randy. I've just been through I this. I want to take care of you. You don't get to decide whether or not people get to take care of you when you're sick. Yes, I can. Whatever you say. Just don't lie to me. Just can't lie to me all the, anymore. Okay. So you and Bob never actually got it. Shut up. <laughs> I found these shortcuts when I was a little guy. Uh-huh. It's beautiful. I think I should get one of those. <laughs> well, I gotta admit, Sue. I am pleasantly surprised with the adjustment in your attitude. Yeah, I mean, if there's any, even if there's any management positions open, I, I mean, I'd be interested in something like that. Well, maybe you're finally ready to become a man. I want to make more money. 
Frank. Hmm. Is that a clip on? No. Come in. Whoa. What happened to your room? Hey, where's your stuff? Can you guys sit down for a second? I wanted to pack up the room so it would be ready to go and the house sold. Well, we're not selling the house anymore. Dudes, come on. No, Listen. no. We are going to fix it up so that yeah, so we, we can all... be family again. I know this is really hard for everybody, but we have to get rid of this house. I, I really feel that. I really also feel that this is your one shot to get out of town and to realize everything that you're capable you're of. You're more important I... to us than some stupid tour. Yeah, don't worry about us. Tom's got more local gigs booked. We're even going to have some here. That's a great idea. Yes, it is. George. Saturday night. It's what we're doing. Get ready. Come on. It'll cheer you up. OK. <laughs> All right. Hi, Nancy. No, it doesn't look like he's getting any better. He just has this sinus infection. And you know, once George is sick, then Randy gets sick, and then we're all sick. So it just doesn't look like we're going to make it. I, I would like to reschedule if that's possible. Ben, I know we just tried our best, but you know, we're, we're just stuck down here, and uh, we're just delayed by a couple of days. I, I, yeah, I would love to reschedule if that would great. So, what day would this be? Where would we be right now? Uh, this day is, uh, we're supposed to be in Arkansas. They have that music festival. The, the one with the dance contest? I so would have won that contest. All right, so I know we're not in Arkansas, but we are together. So, will you dance with me? Here? Here is where we are. <laughs> I love your heart, I love your hair, and your Wonder Woman underwear. I love your legs, I love your laugh, and to watch you get out of the bed. Now I can't wait to hold you in my arms tonight. And just so you know, I want to name our baby Spike. And I hope that that's all right. Ain't it funny how an epidemic flow? Being caught between the laughter and woe before we met. 
so it goes. Holy shit. <laughs> like it? It's really good. Thanks. When did you write this? A couple months ago. A couple months ago? Go to the barn. The barn. Yeah, I want to go to the barn. I miss the barn. I have something I want to show you. Come on. It has been a long time. This place is packed. <laughs> I did it. I cleared out the house. It's all of my parents' stuff. Just makes the house breathe, you know? Remember what used to go on over here? <laughs> this is sacred area over here. It's got a... Move away a few boxes. Look what I found. That's the first show. I know. Look how young you look. I love this picture. <laughs> you promise me something? What? That no matter what's happening with me, that you'll keep singing. Promise. Promise. Swear to God. Is that Randy? Yeah. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Here. Maybe keep it. All right. Don't go anywhere and get comfortable. All right. Okay. You should see yourself right now. Perfect. Beautiful. All right, don't go anywhere. Sue. I know. Just hold tight. Clyde and Howard are here. Shit. Wait, where are they now? Who the fuck knows?
Somebody needs to call 911. What? You didn't think we'd retaliate? Hmm? Sue, what's going on? Sue, fire! Wait, what's fire. going on? They set the barn on fire. Out. Out. Fuck out. Sitting here until you cool off. We should be looking for Alex. Just, okay, we're we trying to have a party. Why are we arresting him? I mean, why? This is the guy. Why are we arresting him? Is there anybody looking for her? Or we need to look well, for her. Is... How long are you here, bro? Look, we're trying to help you here. You're beating pretty big. The guy's just gonna come up and hit you. There's gotta be, there's gotta be more to the story than what you're saying. I didn't want, I don't know what happened. I didn't burn the barn down. This is. Yes. Hello. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. They have no evidence that Clyde or Howard started the fire. They've released them.
Dear Sue, I guess if you're reading this letter, then we've officially beat the system. The only true happiness I've ever felt has been with you by my side. And of course, with George and Randy. I really want you to remember a girl who would smash bottles over heads for you. Who built her whole life around the sound of your guitar. If anyone could have saved me, it would have been you. Every time you get sad, sing. You promised. I love you always and forever. Alex. We said that you would get it when you come back again. So little. Is that her phone? Yeah. It's twenty four missed calls. Gary, looking for Alex. Alex, listen, hey, my club, Rapid Fire, we're all set up for you. Um, I'm just calling to make sure you guys are still coming down because I got the whole club filled up. Who was it? Hi, this is Drew from DC. Uh, 30 Club calling to confirm for Alex and Wilson Daylight to play. Hey, Alex, it's uh, Mike from the State Theater in uh, Portland, Maine. Just got your uh, demo. We'd love to book you guys. She never canceled the tour.
chest and boxes I packed throughout the night Down into the cellar where they'd surely gather dust Shove them neath the stairs, all cobwebs and rust And my nostrils roll and rolled, the fog is thick and cold The wheels begin to turn, though the gears are stiff and old And I'm in another purgatory, static blistering white Some lady in a uniform is calling out my flight Then the strangers kiss goodbye, their airport is a hive Their tin voices buzzing on portable machines And my ears explode inside my head as the honey spills alive Sweeping up the little lights, their boxes and their beans Yesterday's falling behind but they'd grown so suffocating and pitching at the vines had to cut them with a razor and nearly broke the blade hungry ghosts just waiting to clip the wings i made and looking out these weathered paints from 30,000 feet i see my shadow sailing in a plane over the sea yesterday's falling rain for tomorrow's rising steam I'm free.